Hello and welcome back to another shopping haul video. I don't think I've done a shopping haul video since November. I know for a fact I haven't actually, I checked before. Anyway, um, that was a Primark haul. Now this one is just basically an anything and everything haul. It's clothes, but it's, it's from different shops. It's not just from Primark. I don't actually think there's anything from Primark. There is nothing from Primark. So this is just a shopping haul of things that I've bought over the past three or four months. Just, it's not everything I've bought. That would be a very long video. It's just a few things that I've bought that I thought I would show you. A lot of things are sale items. Um, so I'm not 100% sure whether you'll be able to find them still, but you might because some things I only bought last week. So let's just get stuck right in. I'm one of these people who just, well, I've had the same purse for like, it's been about four or five years since I've had the same purse. And it's, it was just so tatty. Let me see if I can find it. I found it. Why it isn't in the bin, I'm not really sure. I just remember throwing it in this drawer. Okay, so this was the purse that I did have. And as you can see, it was extremely, extremely tatty. Um, I don't know why I kept it from, for so long. Well, I do actually, because thing is, if you spend money on a purse, you then don't have any money to put in it. That was my thinking this whole time. I've been putting up with that tatty mess. So rid of that, I think, in a minute. I'm gonna throw it in the bin, I promise. And I've replaced it with this. So it's like a suede material and it's got a little, I don't know, it's not a tassel. It's just a thing that's been tied around the zip part so you can zip it easily. These things always end up coming off. Let's hope that this one doesn't because um, then you have to end up like using the like tiniest bit on the zip to like pull along and it's annoying. Um, so yeah, let's hope that doesn't happen to that one. I'm not going to show you inside my purse. It's already got, it's already full of receipts and things. Um, but yeah, it's got, why don't I just take my receipts out and I'll, I'll show you. I will show you inside my purse. This section has two little bits you can put things and it's got a zip section for all your coins and then it's got this section which is for all of your cards all nicely organized in there where's my bank card oh i know it's in my coat pocket from when i got petrol last night anyway that should be in there and that's just reminded me i need to put that back in there because i would panic if i opened that and say if i didn't yeah say if i went to a shop today didn't have that coat with me I think I'd lost my card. Anyway, panic over, I know where it is. Um, <laughs> but that's a good job I actually showed inside, isn't it? And realised. Anyway, yeah, absolutely think it's, I just think it's beautiful. It's grey, like everything else is in my life. I love grey. <laughs> if you haven't already noticed, grey is my thing. So this purse was just the best find ever. At the time when I bought this, maroon was my thing, clearly, and gold and I'm not really into that anymore. I like silver and grey. This was from Next. I think it was £15. But don't tell Jim. We'll tell Jim it was £10 or something. I bought this last week so you may still be able to find it. It's from New Look and I bought it for... see if I still... it was £12 from New Look. £12 and it's size 12 and it was supposed to be 29 99 so now it's a little bit cold for this dress now hence why it was in the sale probably but I thought this would be lovely in summer if I have some sort of event to go to I don't know somebody's birthday some sort of special meal or a wedding even this dress would be perfect. In fact, if I'd have found this dress last year for my friend's wedding, I would have worn it, but could I find anything when I actually needed something? No. So I thought if I prepare for an event, an event won't happen probably, but you know, it might. <laughs> so this dress, and I will try and do a little try on. How pretty is that dress? It, It's just everything I'd want in a dress. It's it's like a dark grey slash black. I'm not really sure what the camera's picking up, but it's very sheer and it's got beautiful pink and pale blue or pale, yeah, just lilac-y, lilac-y and pink little flowers all over it. At the back, oh, at the back, top back of it, it ties with like a grey ribbon. 
and don't worry it's not see-through it has a thin black slip and it's long sleeved which is nice well three quarter length sleeved which is nice I really like that and it's really flattering I just can't wait to wear it I think it's beautiful it's like my dream dress I put it on and I was like yeah this covers everything that I want it to cover and shows everything that I want it to show not much <laughs> but I just thought that was beautiful you can wear it with thin black tights or you could wear it with no tights in the summer yep I love it it's beautiful I can't wait to wear it please warm up weather please I definitely think I'm going to wear that at some point in my life like try not to put my clothes in the candle I popped into Matalan which is not like a shop that I often buy clothes from but I do like to pop in and have a look every now and again their homeware is incredible and I will at some point hopefully go shop into Matalan and buy a lot of their homeware products because they are beautiful and yeah when I do I will do a shopping haul on it but yeah I think I need to save a bit of money first because I kind of want everything that they have so nice anyway so their clothes have definitely improved like over the years I don't think Maslan used to be that good years ago but it's definitely a really good place for fashionable things now not that I wear fashionable clothes I wear whatever I feel comfortable in but yeah you get the gist things that look nice but also comfortable that's what I go for and this kind of shirt says it all really it doesn't look very flattering but I hope that in the shot that I insert <laughs> me wearing it I will it will be flattering on me but fingers crossed so it's just like a it's a dark grey I think it's a dark grey it's dark grey again and it's covered in little white spots it's as if it's snowed <laughs> which is very apt this week because it's been a very snow week um the make of it is called farmer heritage and i really what i loved about it is it's so soft and it's actually really thick as well so it's like a warm shirt and it has kind of has that like country vibe i don't know i don't know that's what i think it has anyway i think that's the gist of the um i think that's the theme of the the make to be honest it's like, kind of like country feel I'm going for a walk in the country <laughs> I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about anyway this was £12 instead of £18 so not that much of a discount but I just really liked it bought it in size 12 it's I don't think it's going to show up on the screen but it's got like a bit of a peplum going on at the bottom so halfway it has buttons to the middle and then at the bottom it's just like peplum style Peplum, I think that's how you say it. I think I'll get a lot of wear out of that. Hopefully, I've not worn that yet. As you can tell, the labels are still on it. I also bought more of a summery top from Matalan, and this wasn't in sale, but it was only eight pound anyway. It's just, it's lovely. I love it. Right, let's have a look. Oh, detangle it. Okay, so it's quite simple. It's a stripy top. Can you tell I like stripes? I love stripes, and I really like off the shoulder thing off the shoulder and I really really like cold shoulders uh, not actual cold shoulders that would be annoying having cold shoulders all the time that would be a bit annoying anyway that's not even funny cat just carry on <laughs> so okay I really like cold shoulders um I just think they're so flattering I they're just like yeah my thing and also it's got a really nice lace detail at the front but it's not too much because some of these lace things can be a bit too much sometimes like I'm 29 now I can't really pull off having holes in my clothes but tied together with with string you know I can't really pull off that look but this is just like a subtle <laughs> subtle look so I really liked it um yeah and it's only eight pound so I'm looking forward to wearing that in the summer and it's grey grey again I'm afraid all grey I think I bought this before Christmas in the fat face sale there's another sale going on at the moment I have ordered three items from their online site I'm wishful thinking that it'll just get delivered right this moment so I can show you but I don't think it's going to happen um yeah I ordered it a couple of days ago so it probably won't be here till the end of the week I've just got a new obsession for fat face to be honest and it doesn't 
like it's very expensive so I don't often buy things from there but when they have a sale I will go crazy so I went crazy before Christmas and I bought I did buy a few jumpers but I've kind of worn some of them quite a lot and one of them's in the wash and I just thought I'll just show you one piece that I bought from Fat Face in the sale so I'm not overloading this whole haul with Fat Face clothes so I went for this jumper in a size 10 it's a lovely navy blue it's a lovely v-neck it's got like a little ribbing detail all the way down the center and on the sleeves it's got little ties I love these again with these as long as they're subtle I can get away with them but I don't want like a massive bow on the side of my sleeve like you know the size of your body I have seen these things around but yeah I just need I just like one I need one I just like one that's just like a little subtle tie on the sleeve I think that makes the jumper just look a little bit more interesting I suppose you could do that to your own jumpers you could do that to all jumpers really couldn't you you just cut the bottom part and then tie it at the end oh so cozy fat face clothes are just they just have quality to them that's why they're so expensive and yeah I just think this they wash well like some of the ones that I've washed loads but the reason why I haven't worn this one much is just because it's a v-neck so it's a little bit colder and so although it's a jumper kind of needs to be warm enough to wear as well because the sleeves kind of finish a little bit kind of like it's not quite to your arm you can't you know when it's cold and you kind of want to do that you can't do that with this so that's why I've not been wearing this during the really 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 cold months and um, so hopefully I'll get some wear out of that now the sun has come out hey we're going to Asda now well we're not going to Asda but I went to Asda and this is what I bought from George at Asda um it's just a flowery dress I think this is going to see me through spring and summer because it's very summery and I don't know why it was even out over Christmas but I wore it for my birthday meal out and my birthday was in February and it was freezing cold and it was snowing that night so I wore this with some black tights and some little boots heeled boots but I think you could wear that in summer it's a bit thick I suppose but you could wear that in summer easily definitely like a summer day look it's got it's just got a v-neck on it and I really like the floaty sleeves it's not just like little tight sleeves it's really floaty the whole dress is like really really floaty I just loved it and it's got little three little buttons three little buttons down the front there I bought it for about £15 it wasn't expensive but then like two weeks later it was like £8 in the sale damn it there's a next clearance shop in Cheshire Oaks which is not too far from where we are so we went shopping there a few weeks ago when I bought this it should have been £18 but I bought it for £9 and it's just a really nice pretty blouse and as I say because the weather has been so horrible I just I haven't worn it yet so I'm thinking it'll be a nice work top when the weather does warm up <laughs> you could wear it with a little cardigan so this bit goes all the way down to your waist on the front section that's all like got all these funky patterns on and the back of it's just a plain navy and it's a little bit longer kind of covers your bum I like that style I think that's nice so yeah that should be nice when the weather does warm up I got this one from the next clearance shop and it's a little smart skirt for work it's quite short but I think if you wear thick black tights with it it won't look so bad the annoying thing about having long legs is that mini skirts look even more mini on me <laughs> which doesn't help so it's annoying trying to find the right length so this does look a bit short but I think with black tights it will be okay um, so yeah I've not yet worn it for work I don't know how much I paid for it to be honest it's just gone I don't know how much no idea how much I paid for this but I think it was about £12 it wasn't expensive the thing about this next clearance shop is it's cheaper than the main next store because I mean it says it in the name next clearance but not all of them have um, the discount kind of price tags on some of them like they do a lot of smart clothes that aren't as expensive as the normal range of smart clothes in next so this wasn't this would have been like 35 pound in the main store but because it was in the next clearance shop it was 
like half price strange i don't know they just seem cheaper but i thought this skirt was gorgeous so it's navy blue it's got a little tiny orange diamond diamond shapes all over it i will wear that eventually i will eventually make an effort for work one day when the weather warms up i promise okay last but not least i am somebody who owns a lot of boots a lot of boots I don't know what I'm going to do in summer because I basically just live in boots. I think I do pretty much still wear boots in summer and I know that's weird but they just, all these little shoes that you wear in summer, they hurt my feet. Whereas boots just don't, they're just comfortable. So I will probably still wear some of my boots in summer, maybe not the ones with the fur on and things but anyway so I bought these, <laughs> couldn't resist. They were grey, okay. <laughs> they were grey and they had a nice size heel. I think that's a nice size heel. I've got some black boots similar to these that have, and they were from New Look, and the heel's just a bit too big. Like you think, oh yeah, I'll be comfortable in these because they're heeled boots rather than just heels, heeled shoes. And they've got like a chunky heel because I hate little tiny heels. They're just not, I just hate them. I like chunky heels. This heel just looks like the right kind of size. They were just really comfortable. Were they even in wide fit? Because usually I need to get wide fit. I don't even think these were. These are just size eight. They're not wide fit, but they fit perfectly. They are wide fit. Never mind. So the size eight wide fit from New Look and they fit me perfectly and they're grey. This week I was planning on wearing them and then it snowed. I mean they'd have had they'd have had enough grip in the snow, but I just wasn't willing to have any height on my feet in this weather. I just wanted to be safe on the ground. <laughs> yeah in boots that I wasn't going to fall over in well there we go that's about everything um I could kind of find around the house that I have bought recently that I thought I would talk about for a minute um as I say there's probably a bunch more things that I've bought recently but those are the items that I thought I'd show you today there we go <laughs> that's everything I can't end videos there we go that's everything that i've bought recently again it's not everything that i've bought recently there we go that's a few things that i've bought recently that i thought i would show you thank you very much for watching um i feel like i need a drink i feel like i should have had a drink with me while i was discussing these products because i feel like my throat's just getting drier and drier and drier um maybe i had a few too many clothes to talk about and that's what's happened here um, so lesson learned, <laughs> don't buy so much. I would really just appreciate you clicking that little subscribe button um, just to show your support and to show, yeah, keep me just carrying on making things for you guys. If you are somebody who watches all of my videos, um, who, ugh, I'm trying to rush because the thing's flashing. Let me know if there's anything particular that you'd like me to film and I will maybe, maybe do it for you, um, depending what it is, obviously. That sounds really weird. Um, yeah, if there's just anything particular, how can I say this without sounding weird and like just imagining you sending me really weird requests? Um, yeah, just if any normal people have any requests for videos that I would probably do anyway, but you would like to see more of, let me know and I'll see whether I can do that for you. Um, but thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!